Hey guys, it's pizza time. Who doesn't want to own a piece of a Raimi Spider-Man movie? Well, thanks to sites like eBay, we can all do that. Genuine props are just a click away, and you know, sometimes thousands of dollars, but they are available for anyone who is willing to pay. But just what is out there? Today, we're going to answer that question by exploring some Raimi Spider-Man movie props that you can buy right now on eBay. We'll start with the more affordable options, you know, we want to cover everybody here. The most affordable Raimi Spider-Man movie prop is this Doc Ock neck fragment. Now, I don't know if this was actually on the neck piece that Alfred Molina was wearing on screen, but it was still used in the production of the film, so it is definitely still a prop. I actually bought one of these because the price was really great in my opinion. If you want one of these, it's going to set you back about 30-ish dollars after shipping and tax is done. But if you're willing to spend just a bit more, you can get other props that are associated with Doc Ock. Coins. Yes, coins from the iconic bank heist scene in Spider-Man 2. Now, it's pretty much impossible to tell if these coins were actually in the bag the whole time, or were they actually on the ground while Spider-Man and Ock were fighting, but you really never know. They were used in the production of the film though, regardless. If you want some coins, they're gonna set you back about 50 to 75 a piece, not terrible in my opinion. That ain't the only coins though, as Sandman 2 had a run-in with some coins, and you can get one of them for yourself. This is actually a Rittenhouse card that has the prop coin on it. They also have autograph cards and clothing piece cards, so they made some cool stuff. You can get this for about $60, so on par with the other coins. Also, I'm pretty sure that's a picture of a deleted scene. Moving up a bit on price here, we got an obscure one but neat nonetheless. For $675, you can own a sign from that Spider-Man celebration in Spider-Man 3. You can clearly see it in the movie too. I love when you can actually see the prop in the movie. It makes it so much more worth it in my opinion. Alright, now the moment you've all been waiting for, the big buck items. Take a look at this framed collection. Here inside you'll find a coin prop, okay? A Stanley autograph, nice. Screen used web prop, Doc Ock tentacle prop, Doc Ock costume piece, and a menu from the diner MJ worked at in the first film? What? what? So you get so much stuff in this framed piece here, and it all includes the certificates of authenticity too. It will cost over $1100 though, but I mean for the sheer amount of stuff you're getting, it's not too crazy. What is crazy rare though is this. You are looking at a screen use spider observation cage, or whatever you call it, from the first film. You know, when they're on that field trip, the field trip that if Peter never went on, he would have never became Spider-Man. Yeah, that one. This is so awesome. It's one of those oddball things that makes you go, damn, that's cool. Now, you have to pay $1,200 if you want to call this your own, but I mean, it was there in one of the most important parts of the movie, and it would just be a great thing to have. Everybody likes Bully Maguire, right? Well, how about this? Look at this screenshot from the Harry and Peter fight scene. Can you guess what item in this frame is for sale right now on eBay? I'll give you a minute. If you said Bully Maguire's jeans, then unfortunately you were wrong. It's actually these heads. Yes, these weird looking head sculptures are actually up for sale with authentication. But I know what some of you are thinking. Peter got thrown into these, they're supposed to be broken. Well, the seller actually says in the description that was CGI, so actually they survived. And they can be bought for $2,700. I'm not gonna lie to you, this prop really appeals to me. I would choose this over a lot of other props, believe it or not. But tell me, would you pay this much for a piece of Osborne decor? Now here's one that definitely rivals that last one. A piece of symbiote Spider-Man costume. What can you really say about this? I mean, it's a piece of the black suit's arm. Now, is this actually a piece from the suit Toby wore? I don't know. It could be from an extra costume because they made way more than one. I'm guessing that's what it is because if it was Toby's, or at least if the seller knew for certain, that would have really been stressed. But at the end of the day, it was used and made for the film. So if you want a genuine piece from this beautiful suit, it'll cost 2,800. Now we get into the really expensive stuff. When props cost as much as a car, you know you're looking at the real deal. I'm gonna show you a picture of this next item, and I don't even have to say anything, you'll know what it is. Yep, 
You just gotta hear some of the description because it'll truly put into perspective how awesome this is. After shooting a scene in 2004, the suit was sacrificed for the sake of auction. This piece was cut from the upper arm, one of one absolute museum piece. This piece was originally acquired directly through an auction hosted by eBay and Columbia Pictures in 2004. So yeah, this is an actual piece of a Spider-Man 2 suit, and the fact that this was obtained in an auction by Columbia Studios themselves just makes it all the more epic. Now, the seller also mentions that 35 suits were made for the film, but if this was shot in a scene, that means it was more than likely on screen and worn by either Toby or a stunt double. Now, brace yourselves, this cost 10 grand, but hey, if I had the money to just drop 10k like that, I would probably buy it. Alright, I've saved what I think is the craziest for last. Do you remember that Peter was originally going to have web shooters, and that can be seen in the first trailer? Yeah, those web shooters are for sale right now. This is insane to me, and I'm kind of speechless at this. I cannot believe that this is for sale. It went from being used by Toby himself to the seller in Switzerland. Crazy. If you want to buy this extraordinarily rare scrapped concept from Spider-Man 2002, you'll have to pay $29,000. Can't say I'm too surprised though, and I know if I was trying to sell this, I would want a hefty amount. But I would never sell this, I would keep this, I mean come on. Well that is all the props that I wanted to show in this video. I'm sure there are more out there, but I didn't want it to be too long or get a little bit, you know, too repetitive, so I just kept it to kind of what I thought were the coolest ones. But if you know of any that I did not mention, please let me know in the comments, and yeah, let me know basically whatever you thought. If you have a prop yourself, let me know, and if you want to tell me how much you paid for it, go ahead. But yeah, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, catch you in the next video, peace.